Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is my July empties video. So this is where I talk through all of the beauty related items that I have finished off the previous month. Can you believe it? It is August. I swear I say this every time I do these monthly videos, but I just can't believe how quickly the year is going. So yeah, we're in August. So I'm going to talk through all of the items that I finished off in July. Before I get into it, just want to say apologies for not uploading a shot my stash video. That should have followed my eyeshadow roulette video, which was my previous one. But my skin had an allergic reaction to microdermabrasion facial. So it has gone down a little bit. If there's too much pink on my face that is just blusher it's not actually my skin so apologies if my blusher is a little bit too much but yeah because I don't want to be wearing loads of makeup at the moment I have decided to just continue with the products that were in my previous shop my stash instead of sort of starting with a new bunch of products so I'm just going to continue with the shop my stash items until the start of next month where I will do a new one but for today this is all about my July empties and I have managed I have managed rather to finish off 11 items and I have a good selection here between some makeup, hair, skin and body so a good selection of products to talk through. All right, let's start off with the one hair care product I finished off this month. It is my conditioner and it's by Kerastase or Kerastase and it is the incredibly light exceptional nutrition care conditioner. Now I got this back in February, so I went on holiday, I went on a cruise and I've been on a cruise before these, that same one, and I couldn't quite remember what products were in the shower in your cabin. And I thought you had shampoo and conditioner, so I didn't take any shampoo and conditioner with me because I seem to remember that the brand that the cruise ship stocked was, was fine, but it turned out it was just shampoo and body wash in the shower. And it was by the white company, so, so not too bad a brand. So they didn't have any conditioner, so I went down to the spa and bought a conditioner and bought this one because I said that my hair is very, very fine, very light, so I didn't want a conditioner to really weigh down my hair. This one, was lovely and I put this on practically every day on the cruise now I know that's not really what you're meant to do you're not meant to wash your hair every single day but the thing is it was the Caribbean it was hot I was sweating quite a bit I was swimming in the sea a lot so my hair was kind of going through quite a bit and it kind of needed to be washed every day and using this conditioner every day didn't weigh it down it didn't make it feel really heavy it is incredibly light it really is it conditioned my ends but without making them feel like I was overloading with product and then I've continued using this conditioner ever since coming home and I really really like it if you have fine limp hair like myself and you find that products can quite easily weigh your hair down go for this really really good Kerastase so it is a slightly higher price point but Kerastase is a really really good brand would definitely recommend this product for people like myself who have very fine hair really enjoyed it and I would repurchase that. Okay body care next first project pan item and it is my hand balm and I've just realized that I haven't actually washed out the tub. I should hopefully <laughs> go and wash this soon so it will be clean for my project pan video but it's by Lush and it's the sweet wild orange hand balm. Smells beautiful that real citrus orange scent very very beautiful but as a product I don't really love this I don't love the texture of the balm I felt like it made my hands quite dry afterwards I felt like I needed to go in with either another layer or just a separate hand cream now I'm not a huge fan of lush hand creams I think it was the previous month so my June empties where I finished off helping hands from lush that one was more medicinal it smelt medicinal but it was a better hand cream than this this smells nice but I don't feel like it performs particularly well as a hand cream so I wouldn't repurchase this one again like I say smells lovely but didn't really hydrate my hands I felt like I needed to apply lots of it or just go in with a totally separate hand cream but where Lush do kind of excel I suppose is in their packaging it's all recyclable um, but I don't know the size and I think I said this when I spoke about helping hands I can't put this in my handbag it's too big it's too bulky I need a small tube of hand cream for my handbag so it has a plus in terms of recyclability is that a word but in terms of practicality not that great and as a product as well I wouldn't repurchase it because I don't think it does a pretty good job and it is quite expensive and then my next body care item is a shower gel. Now I usually just buy cheap shower gel when I do my food shop. I don't personally feel the need to spend a load of money on a shower gel. However, the one that I finished is the Soap and Glory Clean On Me Body Wash. 
and with this body wash I first came across this around about Christmas time I think I'd stayed at my boyfriend's for I think the first time overnight um, we hadn't been together long at that point and he lives with his mum and dad and his sister and she said to me before I went to shower she said I'll use any of my products I don't mind and I use this and it smells incredible I don't know if I can still smell it yeah you can it's so sweet so it says it has zesty mandarin extract which you can you can notice an undercurrent of something slightly citrusy but it's not overpowering or really citrusy like the lush hand cream it's just like an undercurrent just like cuts through and then the other fragrance it says on boots is bergamot and then you've also got some oak amber and woody notes as well so this is like a combination of my favorite scents i love floral scents but i also love like oak woodiness amber scents as well so this is a really beautiful combination and the product itself is really hydrating so if you're in a rush and you don't have time to apply body lotion afterwards you're not going to be feeling like really tight and really flaky and dry on your skin you can kind of get away without using a body lotion so it's quite hydrating lathers up really nicely as well and you don't really need a lot of it so this 500 ml bottle this took me quite some time now i didn't repurchase it straight away after trying it when i said at my boyfriend's i think i got it a couple of months afterwards because i had a couple of lush ones to use up but it has lasted quite a long amount of time and i did also use this as a bubble bath didn't work hugely well it didn't give me loads of bubbles and i i love a big bubble bath i love loads of bubbles in my bath but it kind of created more of like a milky bath so it's more like a bath milk so better as a shower gel than as a bath product but i loved this and i would definitely repurchase this i think it retails for around about six or seven pounds and because it's from boots you can use your points or quite often it is on special offer and i bought it when it was on special offer as well so it worked out even better so loved that would highly recommend it and would definitely repurchase okay let's move on to some skincare products next i have four to talk through i have a cleanser first of all and this is by elemis this is the nourishing omega rich cleansing oil and i had tried this all oh, years ago in a small sample bottle that they that they do around about sort of 25 30 mils i think don't don't quote me exactly and i remember at the time absolutely loving it now at the time i had like oily combination skin at the moment i clearly have sensitive skin so at that time when i first tried it i thought putting a cleansing oil on oily skin that is not gonna work but putting oil on oily skin like likes like oil likes an oil so it actually works out pretty well and i was really amazed with how much it cleared up my skin it removed all of my makeup and it made my skin feel so hydrated and i don't know why but it's only until now i have repurchased this because i like having a cleansing oil to apply of an evening if i have a light layer of makeup on or if i've only applied spf if i've got a full face of makeup on then i use a cleansing balm but for those days when i don't i like to use a cleansing oil instead because it's just slightly lighter now with regards to removing makeup a full face of makeup this isn't that good i do have to go in with either another layer or like a separate eye makeup remover so yeah if you are going to be wanting to remove a full face of makeup go in with a cleansing balm if it's just a little bit of concealer a little bit of mascara or something then the oil will be fine but it's not that great at tackling a full face of makeup however it is very gentle i can use this all over the eyes and then i can open my eyes afterwards and i don't have any irritation and it's also really hydrating oh i just had to like get a little bit of hair out of my eyes so sorry if my eyes are a little bit bloodshot um anyway so talking about this product yeah it's very hydrating so this is really nice for the winter months as well if your skin is very dry so you can use this of a morning as well if you're in need of a bit more of a hydrating cleanser and how i apply this is i use about two pumps worth you do get quite a good amount of product in each pump so I take about two pumps worth quickly put it in both hands and then apply over dry skin then I get my hands a little bit wet and then again sort of apply over the top of the oil and adding the water to the oil creates a little bit of like a milky lather and then I go in with a cleansing cloth to completely remove it because I don't fully 
feel like if I use my hands to remove a cleansing balm or an oil, regardless of the brand, regardless whether it's this one or not, I don't feel like my hands do a good enough job of removing all of the oil or balm, so I always use a cleansing cloth. Now, I don't feel like I loved this product as much as I remember loving it the first time I used it. I do really like it and I would repurchase it again, but I'm slightly disappointed that it wasn't as good as I remember it being. But yeah, I would repurchase it again because I do think it's handy to have a product like this to remove just a light layer of makeup or just SPF rather than going in with a heavy balm every night. But I am interested as well in trying other oils because this is Elemis and it is a little bit expensive. But it is a lovely product and I do love the brand. Another Elemis product is the Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. I love this this moisturizer I have tried so many of these moisturizers before and I also got this on the cruise now this moisturizer is very expensive if you are to buy it on its own now luckily my stepmom was very kind and she bought this for me if I was to have bought this myself I, I wouldn't have done because I think it's around about something like 95 pounds it's a lot of money and in my opinion too much money I don't think any moisturiser is worth £95. Now I know you're leaving it on your skin, it's not like a cleanser where you're going to wash it off down the sink, but even still, £95, I would be more inclined to spend that kind of money on something like a serum or a retinol, even though I still wouldn't. But yeah, just in my opinion, it is slightly expensive for a moisturiser. However, I have said that I've used this numerous times in the past, and that's because I always get, apart from this one time, I always get my Elemis products from QVC because they just do fantastic deals. If you get any Elemis Today special values, the cost per item is just brilliant. It's so good. It's about 60, 70 pounds in total, but you're getting about, depending on the type of Today special value they do, they you get about sort of five products. And quite often they will include either this or the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which is the day cream. And also the good thing with QVC, is that if you don't get on with the product you can just send it back and you get a full refund so a good way to try brands like Elemis but price aside the product itself is really really beautiful it's quite a thick cream so it's not going to like run down your hands but it's not heavy now I only use this up I think towards the end of the month so it was quite hot when I was using this product and I felt like I wasn't feeling kind of stifled by the cream I didn't feel like it was too heavy for this kind of for this time of year rather so it is a year-round moisturizer you can use this in the the colder drier harsher weather months but you can also use it in the summer as well it's really hydrating it blends in really well as well and the scent is just it's gorgeous I don't know how to describe it I am rubbish at describing how things smell now it does say it has red algae and padina pavonica and i think it is that padina pavonica that is attributing to the smell but it's it's like a nourishing cocooning scent so of a night time that's the kind of scent you want in your nighttime products because it makes you feel quite kind of snuggly like you're ready for bed rather than being really citrusy and really invigorating and because i've used this quite a few times in the past as well for me the scent is it's quite nostalgic so I really love this product. I would definitely use it again in the future, but I would just buy it from QVC with other products included rather than as a standalone product because it is quite expensive. All right, next we have a face mist and it's one that I've tried before and I really love. So that's a little bit of a hint that I will repurchase this one again. And it's the Eucerin Hyaluron. I always struggle to pronounce that. Eucerin Hyaluron Spray and I use this to sandwich my hyaluronic acid serum because it's got to go on damp skin and if I've completely dried my face after washing my face or if there's not enough moisture left on my face I'll just go in with a spray of this, apply my serum, spray this again and then moisturise. And the spray on this is a really fine mist, it's not a spray that's going to drench your face so you get a really nice even covering of product and this lasts a really good amount of time as well. It's 150 mils and once this starts to run out that's usually when I then start thinking of buying another product but I know with this one that this does cling on for quite some time so it feels like you're getting a lot more product than the 150 implies. 
This is quite reasonably priced as well. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I don't think it was much over £10. I think seven to ten pounds sort of rings a bell but don't quote me and for a product like this product that i can get through fairly quickly and it's not like a serum so it's not providing a whole host of benefits i don't want to be spending loads of money on as well but this one does a really really good job and because i bought it before i will definitely repurchase it again really really like that spray I also used up an SPF as well and this is the Garnier Anti-Dark Spots and Anti-Pollution Super UV SPF 50 and I think this is my second bottle of this I finished off this year and what I love about this is that it's a dupe for the La Roche-Posay Anthelios but it's about half the price. However this one is not a mineral based SPF whereas the La Roche-Posay one is and I think because of that I don't think I will be repurchasing this anymore. When I went for my facial <laughs> which caused the reaction the the facialist the, the aesthetician she said that it's a good idea to go for a mineral based sun cream if I am experiencing moments of sensitivity so as much as I love this one I don't think I will be repurchasing it instead I'm going to hunt around and try and find a mineral sunscreen that works for me but I love this SPF though so it's a real shame I love that it's around about eight pounds and you can buy it from those other places so you can often get it at a good price and also it's just a real pleasure to use it's really quick and really easy and it just sinks in so nicely as well I was using and I think I have a bottle still as well to get through I was using the Bondi Sands SPF 50 for the face and it's just so greasy and so shiny it makes my face look like an oil slick and you don't get that with this this sinks in really beautifully you don't get any shine afterwards so if you don't like that really heavy dewy look this is a really good one to go for and this is also a really good base for makeup as well even though i haven't been doing that recently and i just love it it's just so quick and easy to use you've got your nozzle so i just like spread it whoops over two fingers so i know that i'm applying enough spf I, it's just everything that I want in an SPF bar the fact that it's not a mineral based SPF so I would definitely definitely recommend this but I just unfortunately won't be buying it again. So if you do have any recommendations for a mineral SPF please let me know because I am now after one. And then to finish off I have four makeup items. I've got two mascaras here. Now I did recently put up a makeup inventory and I was slightly over with my mascara category but I said in that that I've got two mascaras coming up that I'm going to finish off soon. Not because they're empty but because they've come up to their six months shelf life of, of being opened and I'm really really strict with mascaras. Once I've had them open for six months that's it you're out you're gone. I don't care if there's product left in you I'm not risking getting an eye infection. So the first one is my Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I was after a tubing mascara because my mascara can smudge very easily and I'm just kind of fed up of, of like wiping away at my under eyes at the delicate skin area. So I wanted a tubing one and after lots of research this one came highly recommended and I really really like it. It does not budge. I trust that when I put this mascara on it will stay put for the entire day so I love that what I don't love however is that you can only get it in black and I very much like wearing a brown mascara now I also don't like the price it's really expensive <laughs> and also it doesn't make my eyelashes look amazing I'm currently wearing the rare beauty one and I prefer how this one makes my eyelashes look compared to this one so I'm really torn with this one I think I would buy it again because I know that it will stay put but the thing that's putting me off is that it's black and also doesn't make my eyelashes look that great so I think I would recommend it no I would recommend it if you want a mascara that's going to stay put try this one give it a go and it might just be that it makes your eyelashes look nice it might just be that it doesn't particularly work hugely well on mine it doesn't make them look bad but I like a lot of lift a lot of drama I don't mind a little bit of like clumpy mascara as well I don't really mind that so yeah I would recommend this and I am open to repurchasing it but glad that I have tried it. And then the other mascara is a brown one and it's the Ico Black Magic Mascara Cocoa Edit. This one at the beginning I really really didn't like because it's so messy to apply. Now I know that when it comes to trying a new mascara you do have to give it a little while, you have to kind of 
wait for it to dry up a little bit you can't judge a mascara on the first use of it you do have to kind of give it a while however this took a good three four months for it to stop being so messy to apply and then once that happened I actually really liked it I like that it was quite a natural looking mascara but you can also build it up as well it separated my eyelashes really nicely and it gave them a nice amount of lift and curl which I really enjoyed and it's brown and it's a really nice tone of brown as well I feel like this could be quite complimentary for any sort of skin tone or skin coloring now if this one was to take say a few weeks for it to stop being so messy I would definitely repurchase this one however I have bought a Clinique mascara in brown that is a tubing one so I'll see how I get on with that one I've not opened it yet and then hopefully that one is better than this because I'm still on the hunt for that perfect brown mascara that is tubing and that doesn't smudge because this one also does smudge as well so not a great tubing mascara I'd ideally like a little bit of a compromise between the two I'd want the color of the Coco edit one and the lift and the curl but the staying power of the hourglass one so if only I could combine them next two items or last two items rather are both lip products which I'm pleased about because my lip category and my inventory is a little bit too big for my liking first is a lip balm this is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Barrier Repairing Balm I do usually cut open packaging like this and scoop out every last bit I haven't done it with this one because I didn't want to. <laughs> I'm not that keen with this product which really kind of pains me to say because I have their barrier repairing balm for your face which I've been using since having my allergic reaction and it's really helped to calm down my skin. I've used that when I haven't had a reaction before and it's great at taking away any sort of dryness, any tightness. So I love that product but I just don't love the lip balm. It's a really gloopy texture it's like the texture of Vaseline but just not as pleasant and I've found as well that applying this kind of throughout the day has at times made my lips feel a little bit sore a little bit tender and actually my friend bought the lip balm because she asked for lip balm recommendations and I suggested this one before I started really focusing on it and it made her lips really sore and she sent me a picture as well and bless her it did yeah it did make her lips quite sore so interesting that she had that reaction and I've also had a little bit of that reaction as well also this isn't very good at tackling dryness if anything my hair's coming out if anything it kind of made them more dry so really really disappointed in this product however how I preferred to wear this was as a makeup item so I would go in with a lip balm sorry a lip liner and then apply some of this over the top and it gave just a nice sheen it didn't give like a glossy effect it was just a little bit of sheen and a little bit of hydration so that was how I ended up wearing this product so wouldn't recommend this product in the end didn't really like it didn't do much for my lips at all and I would not repurchase that and then the last item is a project pan item and it is if I can open it because it's so tiny my MAC lip liner in the shade Oak which is a slightly cool mid-toned brown nude <laughs> lip liner so I wanted to use this one up because it was slightly more cool toned than I like in a lip liner I have a warm complexion I prefer warm colours and also with MAC lip liners as well I find them very drying they can be quite unpleasant to apply you have to kind of like really press down to get a lot of pigment the lip liner I've got on now is from Vive and that was so much nicer to apply it's a lot creamier but you also have good staying power as well the staying power with the MAC lip liners though are really really good but I just don't like the dryness associated with them as well so I wouldn't repurchase this one I don't think I would repurchase any MAC lip liners in the future they're just they just don't have the formulation that I enjoy in a lip liner. Great selection of colours though and MAC lip liners are just so popular with loads of people so if you like them and you get on with them, great. I just don't. They're just not the lip liners for me, not the product for me so glad that I have got this one used up and I am also now panning another MAC lip liner so I'm slowly starting to like wheedle out my MAC lip liners. So there we go, those are my 11 items that I finished off in July. So a good selection of like makeup and skincare, hair care, body care, a nice range of products and a couple of project pan items in there as well, which I'm really, really pleased about.
But thanks so much for watching guys and I will have my project pan videos coming up soon as well and hopefully a couple of fashion ones as well which I'm excited about to film. So if you liked it please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!